Time now for Ask the Expert. Long-term use of cell phones and increased risk of brain cancer has resurfaced in the news. Dr. Brian Baer is here with us today to discuss and update us on this important issue. Why don't you first start with the background of this issue? Well, as we all know, there's a worldwide explosion of wireless devices, and they all emit radio frequency electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the brain is very sensitive to these, and especially for people, whatever side they use them on, that part of the brain is the most effective. Really? Uh, this is not good news because, at least for me, I use the cell phone quite a bit. It's almost yeah. connected to you. I, there's been some uh, rumors of that, <laughs> yes. So uh, what are the findings that are generating these concerns? Well, it turns out that there's an aggressive form of brain cancer called a glioma or a glioblastoma that is, the risk is elevated with people who use either wireless or cordless devices for more than a year. Uh, we have a graphic here that uh, will show us that if you use a wireless or cordless device for over a year, your risk goes up almost one and a half times. And if you use it, the devices for over 25 years, your risk goes up three times. So suffice it to say, it's an accumulative type of process. But the cell phone companies, haven't they been reassuring us that this is really not the case? There's not anything to worry about. Well, they have been trying to do that, but there is data that is to the contrary. So what should we do? Well, first of all, kids are more vulnerable. You have to remember that kids have a thinner skull and mm -hmm. it matures by mm -hmm. the time they're 20 and their brain continues to develop. So they're definitely at more risk and more vulnerable. The other thing is, is with these new 3G and 4G phones, they emit a higher wave microwave frequency, which might have a higher biologic effect. So therefore, we should think of these devices as potentially carcinogenic. So ultimately, what we should do is remember that they have a positive effect because we can use them for emergencies mm -hmm. and things like that, but we should probably, I never thought I would say this because of my kids, text more because that keeps you from holding the phone up to your ear. Mm -hmm. right. And then also use the speakerphone option as much See, as I you can. See, I use that now. I've gone Do to you? that speakerphone, yeah. But what about cell phone etiquette? I don't want to hear what you're talking about, especially when you put, are you saying to use the Bluetooth better than actually putting the phone up to your Well, your Bluetooth head? still is a source of uh, wireless frequency waves, okay. but the, you're right, etiquette is etiquette, and it does create a problem, and I think everybody needs to be considerate of each other. All right, we appreciate that information. Got a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail number, and that number is right there on your screen. We're